The many sewage spillages which ultimately end up in our drinking water could have serious health implications. Many of the service providers contracted by municipalities to purify drinking water do not have the necessary specialised purification systems required to properly extract sewage from it as it's very costly. Many areas in the northwest province including Ikaneng uh, Township near Pochestrum, uh, Sunnishof and Blydeville near uh, Lichtenberg have been battling sewage spillages for years now, Sisi Sekhalo reports. Streams of raw sewage flowing down the streets. JB Max local municipality blames it on aging infrastructure and residents throwing foreign objects into the sewage network. Local businessman Jewel Tong says sewage runs in the street past his shop daily. Once popular for selling traditional food like tripe, pop and stew. He complains that customers are dwindling. When a situation is like this, people are afraid to come and buy food because of the smell coming from here and going directly to my shop. So imagine a person eating in this situation. Another person won't even eat seeing this sewage. Hendrik Molawa's home also gets flooded with raw sewage regularly. I've been reporting this since May going to them and trying to explain that I have a baby in the house. My yard smells. They come, but they are unable to resolve the problem. Professor Gubas van der Waal of the Northwest University's Potestum campus warns that the sewage inevitably ends up in rivers and dams from which the majority of drinking water is derived. If you take water from a river, you put it through a process to clean it so that you can drink it. That process is not designed to take sewage from the raw water that you got from the river. It could be deadly. Most of our streams in South Africa are contaminated. This stream looks beautiful, but if you drink this water, the odds are you're going to become ill. And the weak, the young people, the old people, the HIV positive people, they are the people who are dying. Van Erwald attributes the inability of most municipalities to manage or improve their sewage plants to maladministration and unskilled individuals. The DA Shadow Minister of Water and Sanitation, Leon Basson, has laid criminal charges against the JB Max local municipality. After 12 million being spent on upgrading of the sewer lines here, the community is still suffering uh, for many years now going on and um, I'm doing oversight from Parliament side to see how we can assist this community in Ikaching. Spokesperson for the Department of Water and Sanitation, Sputnik Ratau, says while sewage maintenance is the responsibility of local municipalities, they try and assist them. This thing would not always be sufficient because ultimately it is about what is inherently in the hands of the municipalities. Is there sufficient capacity and that we mean both human as well as financial. So if there is no uh, uh, human capacity, it implies that once we move away, then there would not necessarily be anybody to be able to take that work forward. This is Halo, SABC News, Mahi.